After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I've been employed with the agency for six years. Originally uh, from here, pretty much uh, grew up around in the Sarasota County area. Started this job because uh, I do have prior family in law enforcement uh, in the state of New York. You know, I like dealing with the people and serving my community. Now you don't deal with crabs like you're supposed to. That's some verbal orders and we'll find out what's going on. So what we got? Open container. Open container? Yeah. Right. What's, what's the story of upon intake? He just didn't want to sit down or what? Yeah, he's just being combative, drunk. Okay. Uh, at first, we started out at the park, nice and calm, and then in the parking lot, when uh, I told him I was going to write him a ticket, he started screaming at me in the parking lot. So right, basically right, talked himself into, uh, into an you arrest. So. All right, you're all you want. You ain't getting no money out of it. Sounds good. All right, we'll, uh, we'll get him processed in here and uh, get him out of your hair. All right. All right, Donald, step Sounds over good. here for me. You ain't getting no money out of me. OK, sir. You so worry. what you're saying is you, you'd you rather come to jail than have a ticket? I'm not paying you all no money for some street fee. Ass, ugly, tame, All right, well, you know it's an arrestable offense inside the city limits, right? Well, I have beer and coke this together okay. at a cop. Well, it's still an open container. I don't give a damn. I'm not paying you all no money. Forget it. I don't want to hear it. Listen, you I don't care. weapons, needles, razors, and anything. No, I don't. No, I don't. Y'all worried about a little I'm for your money, sir. If it's like, like, like I've had drugs, oh, that would be a different story. Right. You don't want to nitpick with all that bull? That is. Oh, God, you think you put some money out of my ass. All right, well, then you'll just sit in here, and you'll end up getting a 30-day sentence. Go ahead. Okay. Make my day. Put your hand on top of your head. Yeah, I, I ain't done with y'all yeah. jazz yet. Okay. I'm going to take your ass to the newspaper. Yeah. Y'all will learn who the hell I am. Right. Yeah, you ain't heard Step right over there where it says photo ID and fingerprint. I ain't done with y'all jazz yet. Have a seat right there on that stool. Learn you me. do realize that we're not going to arrest you. Go Listen, go you're not going to raise your voice at me. You understand? I, I didn't come You understand? Here. You understand? Go and admit I'm not the one who arrested you. But I have been locked up. All right, so I don't need the attitude. Keep me. your hands down. I'm not giving you a pass. No, stand up. Sir, so don't run. I'm playing with you no more. Y'all will learn me. Y'all got a Nick pick on anything y'all can. Nine. I can understand it's a container or something besides that. Come on. Step in here, have a seat. I sure will. Have a seat. Switch. Have a seat. Stop trying sure. to pull away from I'm me. I'm going to sit down. I'm telling you to have a seat, and you're trying I, to pull away from I'm me. I'm going to prove this. I'm going to beat this. I will. Now, what? you're either going to do this quietly and properly, or you're going to be on the ground, and we remove your stuff for you. How do you want to play Y'all trying to make a big deal out of what? You're making the big deal out of nothing, sir. I asked I you to be quiet, care. and you want to yell I'm over me. Your Take your shoes off. I don't know why you're making such a big deal out of a municipal ordinance. Listen, I don't want you screaming out this door. I don't want you banging on the door. I mean, you understand? I'm not going to do that. All right, really? stay in here until you're ready to be processed, and then we'll take you out. You know what? I'm going to get through with y'all's ass. Good. You want to me? Are you really going to start again? Are it's you really going to start? Going I don't want to hear your mouth me. Whatever. OK, keep it up. Keep it up. He doesn't want to cooperate. He's here for a misdemeanor crime, and he's making such a big deal out of nothing. Uh, Could have been out of here tomorrow, but he wants to run his mouth, so he'll probably stay at least another three or four days. It'd be nice to have just a one quiet night. We haven't had one in a while. It's been a couple hours. I'm going to uh, check on the uh, subject we had earlier that uh, came in highly intoxicated, see if he's going to be ready to process here. Hey, Donald. Yeah. Hey, you sit up for me for a second, please. I also want to find out. I want to, make, I want to know where my stuff's at, too, and I got locked up. OK. What, what stuff are you talking about? Oh, my stuff checked on first. I did my social security and all that stuff. Better be there. And there's also a blue bag that I had, too. OK, I don't know anything about that, all right? Well, I know you one thing. Y'all better think? find it, then y'all I'm not going into your process. property, OK? I'm not going to get processed until I find out where my stuff's at, because I didn't see him break no blue bag in here. OK. Do you remember anything that he came in with? He has ID, social security card, all in his wallet. I OK, mean, so he did, it, it did come in. Yeah, there. it was it's... in a little uh, metal case. OK. It's okay. all there. I saw it myself. But that property lady already took it upstairs. It's gone. OK, sounds yeah. good. 
All right, I just spoke with the, the officer that did your property. Okay, she's assured me that your social, security, your social security card and your ID and everything, the property you came in with is in your property. Oh, white thing. It was, yes, that's what she said. Okay. But you gotta understand, man, like when you come in here, okay, we could have got all, the, all, all this done. You could have watched us do your whole inventory, your property and everything. You know, but, I mean, I know you've been out drinking tonight. I only have one beer. Okay, well, well how come you're so pissed off then? You know, y'all ain't got nothing better to do. All right, well, are you want to get processed at this point or no? No, not right now. Okay. Well, we'll sit you in here for a while until you're ready to get processed. Some people that come in the facility, you know, under the influence of alcohol, especially with a subject like this, he's been here before, he knows the system. So a lot of times they just want to give us a hard time and not want to process. And unfortunately, until he's ready, there's not much we can do. Prisoner Jacqueline is up to be searched right now. Her and her boyfriend were brought in earlier tonight for Joy Ryan in a stolen vehicle. She's been out here on the bench crying and yelling. So just listen. Okay, listen. Please stop pushing me. Like that. This is very, this, this is very dehumanizing. Are you and your boyfriend getting into it a little bit? Or? No. Put your hands up here. Do you have anything on you that could stick, stab, or poke me? No, ma'am. What's down here? Oh, it's a stem. A stem from a pipe? Yeah. Do you have anything else still. on you? No, that's it. Did you use it earlier today? No. How come you have it on you? Because I was going to use it. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to do it. OK. Hey, we go grab a broom, so we don't step on that. Imagine life, huh? She said she didn't use it yet. OK, lift up your right foot so we can sweep underneath it. Just so you know, I had that right here, and I don't, I forgot about it, and I don't know how it slid down my pants. I had it right here. Let's change her out of the pants, put her into jail pants. Let's walk her over here. OK, okay just follow us. OK, so let's go slow. Where was this? It was like right on Fair the back of her leg right here when I was feeling up going up and doing search. So I felt the, the outside and it felt like a pipe. That's got to be the, the ball. The ball. The pipe. Keep your hands on the mat. I'm not going to tell you again. You understand? You know what? Stop. Keep your hands on the mat. Stop rough handing me. Keep oh your my hands gosh. on the mat. OK? Stop you need to listen. But it was him. Why can't you just ask me nicely? Oh, my gosh, that's what I'm trying to do. And he rough handed me. No, no, I don't need the cuffs on. Oh my gosh, I can still freaking move and freak out with the freaking cuffs. Yeah, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Stop it right now. Stop resisting. Stop it. Stay still. If you guys will let go, I will stay still. You've had every chance to comply. Get your hand off my face. This is abuse. This is like, do you beat your wife like this? Yeah, I bet you do. Ready? I have seizures. You guys are going to put me in a seizure. Take a tether. Grab a tether, Fisher. Let go of me. P. P2. Rebecca, listen. I'm going to hurt you. Just listen. Till you cool down. I'm cooling down. OK. Just stay there for a second. When you calm down, we'll come back and we'll start working with you, all right? Jackie pretty upset out here during the intake search. Uh, tried to pull away from me, kept turning towards me. I thought for one minute she was going to spit on me. Uh, sometimes they'll try and swing their arms and backhand us, but we just take all those threats pretty seriously. And then take a picture. Did you drink today? No. Any drugs or anything? Yeah, I, I, I did. I smoked some spice, and... Do you have any withdrawal problems off of that that you know of? No, but I also smoked some meth, so... 95%? Okay, all right, that's right. 
Uh, she's been cleared by medical staff to, to be moved down to a different cell. Her, her behavior is good. She's cooperating with the officers. And once that happens, we'll move her to another cell, and that's just one step closer to being out and being through the booking process. I've been with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for about five years now. This is a fast-paced job. I mean, you got to have a cool demeanor to work in this job. Sometimes when people get in your face, it's kind of hard to, to just to keep it cool and relax because you don't want the person to get hurt, and all of a sudden, you don't want to get yourself to get hurt. Hey, Jerry. I'm going to have you have a seat right here for me, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. It's all right. It's all right. She can ask you some questions, okay, Jerry? Just go and answer the questions. So, How much have you been drinking tonight? Oh, I had a half a glass of wine. And I think that's the lady that they called them. I think they called me. Just one glass of wine? Just one glass of wine? Half a glass. Half a glass. Okay. I didn't even finish. I'm not a drinker and I'm not a smoker. I run 15 miles a week. Well, that's pretty good. Come on, Jerry. Have a seat over here, sir. And I'm raising two adopted children. I'm sorry. It's okay. Thank you, ma'am. Sorry. That's okay. All right, Jerry, have a seat here. right here. Yep. Here. Yep. Just have a seat. Let's have a free name, okay? Somebody will call your name. They'll go sorry. back there. No, don't worry, don't worry. Really Somebody will call your name, all right? You probably got to get your finger printed. I'm Make not, sure they'll go back there. No, don't worry, don't worry. I know. I'm just letting you know what's happening now, okay? My granddaughter Just hang on here, okay? He was at a uh, grocery store, and um, I guess he came back to purchase some um, wine, and uh, the people there recognized him from earlier, recognized that he was staggering, and he appeared that he had too much to drink. They kind of turned him away, and he went back to his car, and then he headed southbound. The transport unit located the vehicle, made the vehicle stop, because yeah. he was heavily intoxicated, so. Yeah. He uh, failed his uh, breath test. He said, I didn't have anything to drink. No. This isn't his first rodeo. Oh, no, it's not. It's not his first DUI? No. Really? It's like his several. Really? <laughs> yes. Wow. OK. Did you see his watch? I saved driver 20 years. Oh, wow. He's in here for, for uh, DUI. Yeah, for DUI. Yeah. Greyhound bus. Check it out. You got it from his uh, from his work. Yeah. Dang, 20 years. How you feeling now, Jerry? You OK? You sobering up a little bit? I was a jumper. A jumper in the, uh, what, what armed forces were you 82nd Airborne. All right. All right, let's have a seat right here, OK? Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. Put slippers on? No, let's leave them there really quick. Oh. Sorry. Oh, moving on all this way. Sorry. When you work in a Greyhound bus, did you ever get caught drinking and driving in those 41 years? I never drank. Never drank and drive? I never, never drank. I never. I drank a half a glass of wine tonight. Mm -hmm. And I think that girl called Metro in heaven. And they got you, uh, yeah, got you here? I couldn't believe it. Have you ever been here before, Jerry? You've been in Clark oh. County? Oh, no, you're kidding. First time here. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So you've never been here before, Jerry, ever? <laughs> Since in the last five you years. You know everything. You know everything. Well, I'm asking you. You actually told me this is your first time here, which isn't true. This is your fifth time here. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is your fifth time. I was embarrassed. I am really embarrassed. Really embarrassed. Embarrassed. I'm ashamed of myself. So? Because my wife died, my son-in-law died, and my daughter died. Is that what is, is making you drink so much, Jerry? Oh, and it's the only reason. I never drank before. I grew up for Greyhound 41 years, never had a drink. I'm 73 years old. I know. You shouldn't be drinking that, that way. Yeah, I can't Not at all. believe what I've done. I can't believe what I've done. All right, go ahead and sign for your property and your money. Oh. All right, this is a pen on your right hand side. This is your charge is DUI with alcohol and your bail is $2,000, okay? Oh my God. All right, it's a misdemeanor now. Uh, don't know when it's a. Uh... I can pay it now. Okay. All right, Jared, let's go this way. All right, Jared, this is your charge now. You post your bail. 
You'll be getting out of here within, like, between 8 and 10 hours, OK? Really? Yep. Hopefully sooner than that, all right? Have a seat right back here. Thank you. No problem. Take that. Yeah, no, this is mine. So he'd be out of here about 10 hours. Um, he was a bus driver and didn't drink once for 41 years. I just hope I don't see him again. Right up here, sir. How's it going, man? All right. You got anything sharp on you? Knives, needles, razor blades, nothing like that? Nope, just my mind, man. My mind is sharp. All right. What brings you in other than the police? Other than the police? Being caught. Being caught doing what? Being caught being a thief. What were you trying to steal? <laughs> no, nah, actually, actually, I wasn't stealing. I was, I was with somebody who was stealing, and I got caught. It happens. So you guys actually did the stealing. Got he, got, away he got away. And, he got away, and, you and were I with got him caught. And you got caught. Exactly. That's a bum deal. You go to college? Yeah. What you study? Business entrepreneurship. <laughs> <laughs> they talk to you about. Uh... I don't even want to go there. <laughs> All right, you're gonna have a seat right. right over here. He was under arrest at Fred Meyer for shoplifting. Oh, the security had already. Security already arrested him. So when I got there, I uh, literally read the report, then put and found that I had probable cause for the arrest, put him in handcuffs, and transport him to jail. Oh. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you much. Appreciate it. In a nutshell, what happened? I went to buy a volleyball for my daughter and buy a Which movie. is the one that you guys got? It's the one I got. OK. And I'm walking out. I see this guy talking to him, walking with him, asked me to do something I shouldn't have did. I did it, got caught. And I'm here. Split decision, man. I could have easily just been like, no. Nah. Just walked out and I would have been at home right now with my kids watching Puss in Boots. Have you ever been in jail before? Yeah, I've been here before. Similar types of things or something else? Similar, just the same thing. Yeah. Know, before I even asked you that question, I was getting ready to say, I think that you probably won't be back again. But you've had a history. So you've already, had, so you've already you, been here so, before. So you think I will be back again? Well, you've. You've been here before, right? True. So now, when you're here at one point, and then you come back again, you're classified as a recidivist. Recidivist, that what is that? means that you have come back to jail again. You're, it's a reoccurring thing. You go out, you come back, you go out, you come back. So the more times you come here, the more times you'll continue to come here. If you're on parole or probation, you don't report. If you're not paying your fines, you go to jail. See, that's a real slippery slope. So how do you get out of that? How do you? Change your thinking. Everything that you're thinking right now, had you a thought that when Before you were with your boy the first happen. time it wouldn't have happened, you'd have been like, I need to be at home with my babies. You know what I thought too? The reason why I went with it, I feel like it's because of my struggle. Even though I was able to go in there and I'm blessed to go in there and buy my kids when I needed to buy them, something else got into my head. And, and I think it was greed, too, because I was just. That's exactly what it is. That's, that's what it was. It was that's just... not a struggle, though. Listen to me. If you were going in there and you had no, listen for a second, if you had no money, you didn't have a roof over your head, and you were going to get some food for your babies, I'm like, man, that sucks, but I understand it. I get that. Not saying it's right, but I understand it. You were going to buy some shoes. You bought a volleyball. My daughter loves volleyball. I, that's not a struggle, bro. That right then and of itself is not a struggle. You said you could have been at home watching Puss in Boots. It means you got a house, you got a TV, you got a DVD player, and time to sit down with your babies. That's not a struggle either. So maybe you need to recalibrate on what you really feel like a struggle is. Maybe that's what I need to do. You know what I mean? All right, I got to get back to work. Jay Sean, let's go, man. Uh, released? It's quick. I appreciate what you told me today. Man, man. that's real talk, you know honestly. I mean. That, that word is, it, it, it's settled with me. Which accountability? Which uh, word? The reset, what, what's Recidivist. It called? Recidivist. Recidivist. Yeah. I'm going to take that with me wherever I go. Because I don't want to be recidivist. You already are. But you don't have to continue to be. Exactly. The moment you came back to me and, and said that because you, you know, you, you, you evaluated my character, 
Well, you seem like a stand-up guy. I mean, the first one of the first things you talked about was your babies, you know what I mean? And you went to the store for your kids to get them some things. You said, I should have been at home with my kids watching a movie. To me, that speaks a lot about your character. That does in and of itself. And then, you know, you were like, I should have done it, I made a poor decision. I mean, you're not making excuses. That's huge, man. So honestly, this is the last time I see you. What's your name, man? Sergeant Scott, man. Sergeant Scott, yeah. I appreciate you. This will be my last time. I hope so. I think Jay Sean learned a huge lesson. For some reason, the word recidivist really resonated with him. He says, I don't want to be that word. Honestly, I don't really expect to see him here again. I don't. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I spent four years in the Marine Corps Infantry. Having prior military experience really helps this job become an easy transition. You learn discipline, you learn teamwork, camaraderie, and you're all family, you watch each other's back, make sure everybody goes home at night safely. I'll come back and talk to you, okay? You want to talk to an attorney? Once you sobered up, we'll get you out of here, okay? I am sobered. I'm not going to argue with you, okay? Sober up and we'll get you out of that cell. All right. Okay, let's walk over here. Well, what am I charged with? I don't know what your charges are. I haven't even looked at it. You said you were doing a little bit of meth today, right? We're going to walk this way. Okay, we're going to put you in the cell, and then you're going to go talk to free trial. We got prisoner Jones up here, getting ready to search him. Looks like my officers are running over to D2. We got something going on. Am I dead? Put him in H5. Just tell me now. Just relax. Please, just tell me no, I'm dead. All right, guys. Don't be on the back. Go. Oh, sorry. Take your knees. Stand up. Put your head down. Put your head down. Come on, man. Stop fighting. Hey, stop fighting. Come on, man. Quit resisting. Come on, man. Got it. Can I have some answers here? Can you have the answer, please? Quick! I'm not resisting! I got it. I got it. You got it. Come on, man. Can I have some answer, please? Put your head in the corner. Come on, man. Hey, you guys do me a favor. Yeah, yeah. You guys, I need two, figure out what's going on. Let me check about the room, sir. Okay. Don't resist. Come on, man. Hey, please! Stay in there. Stay in the corner. Please! Stay in the corner. Stay! You okay? Did you fall or anything? You yes, have this terrible oh, me. bastard that attacked me. He was joking me. All I did was have a little bit too much to drink today. And you guys put me in this terrible, nasty place and put me in with some insane person. What was your deal tonight? Mm -hmm. You got to calm down so we can get you booked in and get you down to a bed or get you released, whatever's going to happen with you. That's going to be based on your behavior. All right, Cody, we'll come talk to you later, all right? Cody was just involved assaulting another prisoner, had him in a chokehold at the door. They were in our drunk tank. I responded over there with my other officers, and I was able to grab hold of him, take him down to the ground, and uh, move him to a padded cell for his safety and our safety so we could find out what's going on, drugs, mental health issues, whatever the case may be. What do you want to know, Cody? <laughs> well, you're put in the cell because of your actions over here are in D2. Were you doing drugs earlier today? 
Yeah. Yes. What kind of drugs were you taking? Meds. Meds? No, meth. Meth? How long ago? This morning. This morning? Are you still feeling the effects of it pretty good? Well, my boyfriend is going to get my temper going. No. Okay. So we're going to have the nurses come by. We're going to check you out. How are you feeling? Are you sore or anything? You okay? All right. Doc, you want to get checked by medical? Okay, put your back right here. <clears throat> your back, right here. My back? Come here. Right there. Although he's been compliant thus far, uh, his behavior is still a little bit bizarre because of some of the drugs in the system. He's just been charged with a warrant. Uh, he could possibly bail or bond out, but it still doesn't mean that he won't be held accountable for his actions earlier today. We'll have the reports screened by our jail investigator to determine whether charges will actually be filed. You gotta drink it all right here. You can't take it inside with you, okay? There you go. But what's, what's in it? I mean, what's gonna be going on? Am I gonna be able to get out of here or what? Drink it. Okay. Let's do the checks and then we'll take care of that later, okay? Cody has actually been pretty compliant with a couple of the nurse checks and with our instructions. So we're going to keep him separate for a little bit, and then we're going to eventually get him walked through the booking process. I think the unique thing about working graveyard is the fact that the clientele is quite different. It's a lot of uh, the night folks where they're out and usually commit crimes. So people come in, they're mostly uh, not very cooperative, which makes our job a little bit more challenging. Right over here. <laughs> you, no. Hi. How you doing? Welcome. Thanks. Problem. Anything sharp on you? Gonna stick me? Poke me any drugs? No, I don't. Sorry. Okay. Diabetic? I'm not. Can I get one of those paper towels? Wipe my face off. When we're done. Okay. Is that sweat or rain? A little both. Yeah. Yeah. They had me sitting in a puddle. I was asking if I could stand up. They wouldn't let me though. Oh, Hastings is a real. He's a hard one. You know, he slammed my face up against a car. Told me to <laughs> off with my shirt. That kind of stuff. You know, but. He really likes what his job, do? so. Nothing, I was just standing on the corner. Just mind your own business, but. No, they said I was uh, resisting, or I don't know what he said I was doing, disorderly conduct, some BS, I don't know. When I take the cuffs off, put your hands up on the counter. I will do. Look at that. No. Put your hand on the counter. <laughs> What's the problem, man? Am I doing something wrong? Yeah, you're not doing as you're told. Oh, now no, put no. your hands on the counter. I heard you. Now, bend down, take your shoes off, put your shoes on the counter. Now, hands on the counter, step back, spread your legs. Can I get step a phone back. call or ask Put your hand on the counter. Jesus, come on. Well, come on. Okay. We don't deal with everybody that's sweet and nice, OK? OK, I'm sorry. Anything good in there? <laughs> See, that silliness coming out of your mouth gets you in hot water. What, say anything good in there? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Could you tell us your version, officer? <clears throat> we got calls about a drunk male People thought were, was drunk. And uh, when I got there, he was marching around in circles on the sidewalk, uh, barking, grunting. He apparently noticed who we were and then became uncooperative, much like we've seen here. It's just funny, man. What are you doing now? I need that phone, though, to make a phone call to my lawyer. I can't call somebody? Yeah, you can. There's oh, a phone okay. in the back. Yeah, I need my phone to get the number. Is that right? Or? Not now, because he already took the letter out. What do you mean? I can't get the phone number to call no, somebody? Not now. You don't get to make a phone call and you get arrested? You or? do. We're done. Let's go. Yeah. Well, is that not a question I can well, ask? Well, no. you're just not that listening way. to the answers. Let's go. Is that his code? Oh, that is my code. Cool. on the ground. I heard and you. Head that way. Asking the then question. move. Now go that way. Passive aggressive nature. That's what my thing is. Yeah. It's kind of like one of those, like, oh, come on. I don't want to. I'm not causing a problem, but everything coming out of your mouth is. OK, whatever. It is. It is. I'm sorry. So let me ask you this. What? Are you a good student in school? I am pretty you good. You are? I am, yeah. How? What do you mean? Well, if the teacher gave me an assignment, I could just see you saying, what the hell is this for? What do we do with this? Well, usually Why they're do I fair answer there, this you know? question. Come on, Paul. OK, Joe, this is very important. OK. You can be out of jail in a matter of probably three hours. OK. Or if you become a problem 
We have these side rooms that you go oh, into. Scary looking. And you'll be in there a minimum of eight more hours. Eight more hours on top of the three? Right. All right, I don't want to do that. Okay, so no more nice. silly questions. Like, no more I, I need to call to my, my attorney. I can't ask for that. I'm no, that's, you can't that's silly that. stuff. That is? Okay. Because there's a phone around the corner. You can use it. You can call whoever you want. Who's that guy? Hey. It's Joe. I'm sorry. I ask one more question. One more. It's the last one, I promise. This better not be about your attorney. Okay. okay. <laughs> it wasn't going to be uh, sorry. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> okay, we'll have a seat. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll be back. Thanks, man. Over now. Hey, Joe. Watch your step. This is uh, wet. And you know, shoelaces. Awesome. I'm very impressed that you made it. To what? You didn't, you didn't, you didn't go well, into a little side room. Come on. Everybody's different, you know what I mean? How did you get a job here, man? You're the nicest one that works here. You're just lucky, I guess. Yeah, I'm just living right. On the right side here. That's where we see our guys, or? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. All right, Joe. Good Sorry luck. I'm giving you a hard time. Hey. <laughs> Try stand up comedian. You're a good stand up. So you had a good sense of humor, huh? I guess, yeah, I tried to. Well, Joe seemed to uh, talk his way into jail. Joe just does not know when he stopped talking. And that seems to be what his problem is. That's what got him here, and that's what most likely will get him back. Every stinking test. This guy just got arrested for a DUI. He doesn't seem very happy right now. He's kind of yelling at the officer. He arrested him. Come up here. I have the worst luck of anybody in the world. So what do you got here? Stopping for a seatbelt and an open container. And he did not pass my field sobriety exercises. Uh, how has he been acting? A little erratic, slightly paranoid. Are you going to do the breath test, or are you going to have him do it? Our time together has been too entertaining, so I'm going to go ahead and pass the buck. Excellent. Now, was anybody injured or anything like that? Mm -hmm. You caught the observations of him swerving or doing something silly? Yeah, uh, he road. drove past where I was sitting with no seatbelt on, and I stopped him about 60 feet later. OK, so you, you oh, saw him? As he took a swig of his beer. <laughs> So you, you saw him with the no seat belt, so that was your probable cause for the arrest. You know what's the cost of drunk driving? Sir, you know, just, just, I've just heard just about it. it. OK, sir. It looks like you guys went out and caught somebody and pinned a drunk driver now. That's a lie. Who went court, brother? If I wasn't wearing a seat belt, why didn't you give me a ticket for not wearing a seat, uh, wearing a seat belt? I did. It's sitting up there. What a liar. Just keep blowing until I tell you stop. Go, 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 keep going, 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 no felonies, no, no nothing. There's nothing on my record. Nothing. Step happened. back over to the bench. He's going to take care of you, OK? I'm sorry. I'm yelling. I'm just pissed. So this is uh, the copy for a seatbelt ticket and the for your probable container. cause and the open container? Yep. The only thing I'm going to admit to is the open container, because my friend just gave it to me. I didn't even take but one drink out of it. Uh, I will admit to that. The rest is false. Totally so false. you were brought in here under the charge of DUI. But he didn't pull me over for DUI. No. He had probable cause to pull he you over. He said I didn't have my license, my, my, my uh, uh, seatbelt on, but I did. A girl I know ripped me off two or three weeks ago. I called her probation officer. Nothing but a drug head, crackhead, thieving woman. 
And I told him, check her now. She's full of drugs. And her parents are millionaires. millionaires. Okay, sir, so well, what's that got told, to do with she, you? She threat, called me, threatened me. I'm going to get you pulled over, and they're going to find a beer in your car. Well, that's exactly what's happening right now, two weeks later, right? Okay. She's bought the goddamn probation officer. Who put that alcohol there? My friend. Your friend. Yeah. Who was drinking that alcohol? I drank one drink of it. Okay, so you admit to drinking at least one drink of it. The intoxilizer said that you're over the legal limit. I'm telling you, he pulled me over because he set up to pull me over. Okay. That's why. One sip of alcohol. That's why. And you're telling me that allowed you to be intoxicated enough to, to blow over. I wasn't pulled over for anything I did wrong driving. No. Nothing. Zero. And all the tests that you guys do Don't get angry with street, me. Don't I get passed angry every with one of them with flying colors. Every one of them. Deputy Kasman, did you see any indicators that this gentleman was under the influence of alcohol or drugs? I would think that would be readily apparent by our presence in booking. So you're saying yes, you did. You guys want to do it, do it to on. me now. Sit down. Do sit that down. test to me sit, now. Sit down. I'll do it with handcuffs, family. So you're I'll saying... I'll do better than he would. Hold on. It was all planned and fixed. All right. Okay, we're stepping right into this door here. You're going to go to your left. Yeah. To your left. Because you're being charged with the DUI, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to stay in our facility for a period of no less than eight hours. I, I want you to have a seat right here. I've got to be here for eight hours. I don't understand that part. You don't understand that part. Oh, that right there, sir, all it is is to ensure that you are sober before you leave. I was sober when I got pulled over. Why is it that everybody else around you is lying except they're for lying, you? They're lying, they're Because I passed all them tests. I passed them all. You were driving without a seatbelt. That's a lie. I'll fight that to the end. All right, Robert. You're going to step over there, and Deputy Shea's going to take your picture. Step right over there, sir. Look right here at this camera. He was a little bit agitated during the processing. But if he continues to behave himself, then you know, we'll allow them to stay out there and be able to utilize the phones and try and contact somebody to arrange bond or bail for them. been notified by control that we have a code 5 male and female coming in. Evidently, it's a related incident, so we're going to see if we can get them to possibly just walk in. That guy that stole my bike, I want to hit him. We'll bring her in first. Yeah. Guys, I'm really in. I know. Can I see my bike? Did Adam come out? Yeah, he knows where I'm Okay. That's my bike. Turn around and go that way. Is that my bike? Hey, Vegas, turn around and go that way. I responded to a possible robbery event. Uh, when I made contact with the victim, she was highly agitated, agitated, exhibited signs of being under the influence of a central nervous system stimulant. She freely admitted that she was attempting to sell prescription medication to, uh, to have money to buy alcohol. The subject she initially made contact with took her bike and drove off. Oh. She called and said she was a robbery victim, then proceeded to incriminate herself in a whole nother crime. You're a robbery victim within a drug deal? Correct. Okay. Drug deal right. gone bad. What are you charging Lori with? Uh, she's getting charged with possession of dangerous drugs without a prescription oh. and possession of controlled substance with intent to sell. All right. I didn't think that was illegal. If I knew it was illegal, you know. Well, you know now, right? Yeah. OK, now. But is, is it, you like, big time trouble or something? I believe it is a felony. So you will have to talk to pretrial services later in the morning. You know, I had some pills in my pocket because I was going to my friends on Fremont. Right. And uh, I had my bike. I didn't have the lid for the, for the antacid bottle that I had them in. So they fell out. And um, uh, the dude was taking my bike. And I said, hey, man, I got pills. I got, you know, I, you know, come on, man, I'll give you a pill. Just buy me a beer or something, because that's really all I was after. And he goes, well, this dope dealer over here, he owes me some money. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I got to go over there and get it. And it can seem kind of shady, because we'll, we'll get to the window. The window opened, and uh, So you didn't go to the front door? You went to a no, window? No, yeah. And I was, like, standing off to the side going, this, this don't look right. And I could hear him through the window going, hey, take her bike, take her bike take whatever she's got. So I started to back up and started to go back the other way. Say, hey, I got to go. And he started going spastic on me. And then he started taking off with my bike. And I said, hey, man, 
I got Xanax, I got whatever, you know, mm -hmm. just just give me back my bike. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to sell drugs. I mean, okay. I'd give him a Xanax bar because okay. look, at, look at him, he's like this, doing all this no. When you want to give somebody like no. that some help, Sometimes I'm easily swayed and I'm too nice to people that okay. I know are no good. But he had So my what have bike. you learned? What have you learned tonight? Well, not to ever trade your 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 medication for 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 a drink. But I was like nervous. The guy was wanting to slap me down and stuff. He was a, a crazy mm -hmm. maniac. Mm -hmm. And he's got your bike. You're willing to give up anything. Right. I wasn't wanting to give up my body, but a but you, you did kind of put yourself in that position, right? Where yeah. you were around this guy, where he was able to have the opportunity to take your bike. I think you're hanging out in places that are too dangerous. I just stay home. Yeah, stay home or find a different place to go. Okay. Okay. And leave my medication home. Leave your medication at home. All right. Go sit down. Trading, giving, selling, it's one big blur. We'll get her through with her booking photo and get her fingerprinted, get her to the other side. She's having her breakfast now. She doesn't seem too worried about being here. It's just hard when you live in Vegas to do without, you know what I mean? Somehow you just want to, you know, have fun. Girls just want to have fun. Doesn't work out that way. <laughs> Side, and they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride. Blinding light hits my face and it brings me to life. Oh Lord.